The power of the first impression, why intros matter. Think about the last time you read something truly captivating. What hooked you? Was it a provocative question, an intriguing anecdote, or perhaps a bold statement? Chances are it was a well-crafted introduction that drew you in and made you eager to read more. In the world of writing, first impressions are paramount. Your introduction is your chance to grab the reader's attention, establish your voice, and set the stage for the journey ahead. A strong introduction acts as a welcoming invitation, enticing the reader to delve deeper into your words. But what makes an introduction truly effective? How can you craft an opening that captivates your audience and leaves them hungry for more? Let's explore the art of writing compelling introductions and discover the secrets to making your words stand out from the crowd. Setting the stage how intros guide the reader. Imagine you're entering a theater, the lights are dim, and the curtains are about to rise. Anticipation hangs in the air. What you experience in those few moments before the play begins will undoubtedly shape your perception of the entire performance. Similarly, an introduction acts as the stage setting for your writing. It provides context, establishes expectations, and guides the reader into the heart of your subject matter. A well-crafted introduction should give the reader a clear understanding of what to expect while still leaving room for intrigue and surprise. But how do you strike that delicate balance between providing enough information and maintaining an element of suspense? How can you ensure that your introduction effectively sets the stage without giving too much away? Let's delve into the nuances of guiding your reader and explore the techniques that will keep them engaged from the very first sentence. Engaging your audience, asking the right questions, one of the most effective ways to captivate your reader from the outset is to pose a thought-provoking question. Questions pique our curiosity and encourage us to seek answers. By starting with a question, you immediately engage the reader's mind and invite them to embark on a journey of discovery alongside you. Think about some of the most memorable speeches, articles, or books you've encountered. How many of them began with a question that resonated deeply within you? A well-placed question can spark curiosity, challenge assumptions, or simply invite the reader to reflect on their own experiences. But how do you determine which questions will resonate most effectively with your audience? What types of questions are best suited for different writing styles and genres? Let's explore the art of asking the right questions and discover how this powerful technique can elevate your introductions to new heights. Unveiling the answers, transitioning smoothly, while starting with a question is a great way to engage your reader, it's equally important to provide a sense of closure and transition smoothly into the rest of your writing. Leaving a question unanswered for too long can lead to frustration and disengagement. The key is to strike a balance between posing intriguing questions and offering insightful answers. You want to keep the reader hooked while gradually revealing the layers of your argument or narrative. Think of it as a delicate dance between curiosity and satisfaction. But how do you seamlessly transition from a question to the core of your writing? What techniques can you employ to ensure a smooth and logical flow of ideas? Let's explore the art of unveiling answers and discover how to create transitions that feel natural and effortless. Section 5. A world of intros tailoring your approach. Just as every piece of writing is unique, so too should your introductions be tailored to the specific content and audience you're addressing. A formal essay requires a different type of introduction than a lighthearted blog post or a gripping mystery novel. Consider the tone, style, and purpose of your writing. Are you aiming to inform, persuade, entertain, or inspire? The way you craft your introduction should align with your overall writing goals and resonate with your target readership. But how do you determine the most effective approach for different writing scenarios? What are some specific techniques you can employ to tailor your introductions to various genres and audiences? Let's delve into the world of intros and explore the art of crafting openings that perfectly complement your writing style and captivate your intended readers. Section 6. Crafting Compelling Openings – Examples to Inspire Let's explore concrete examples that bring these principles to life. By examining different intros, we understand what makes them effective. The anecdotal intro. The old man sat on the park bench, his eyes fixed on the pigeons. He had been coming to this park for over 50 years, witnessing countless sunrises and seasons. This intro draws the reader in with a vivid scene or personal story. 
The Provocative Question Intro What if everything you thought you knew about happiness was wrong? This intro grabs attention by challenging assumptions and sparking curiosity. It's a powerful way to introduce a topic that challenges conventional wisdom. The Bold Statement Intro The future of education is about empowering students to become self-directed learners. This intro makes a strong declaration that grabs attention and sets a clear direction. It's effective for persuasive writing or introducing a bold new idea. These examples show how to craft compelling openings for your writing. Experiment with various techniques to develop your unique style. Section 7, The Art of the Hook Grabbing Attention from the Start In the realm of writing, capturing the reader's attention from the very first sentence is paramount. This is where the hook comes into play, a literary device designed to pique curiosity, evoke emotion, or present a compelling question that draws the reader in. Think of the hook as a fisherman casting a line into the water. The bait needs to be enticing enough to make the fish bite. Similarly, your hook should be irresistible, promising the reader a rewarding experience if they choose to delve deeper into your writing. But what makes a hook truly effective? How can you craft an opening sentence that is both captivating and relevant to your subject matter? Let's explore the art of the hook and discover the techniques that will make your writing stand out from the crowd. Section 8. Beyond the first paragraph, intros for every section. While the opening paragraph of your writing undoubtedly holds immense weight, it's important to remember that every section and subsection deserves an equally engaging and informative introduction. Just as a good host guides their guests through a party, your writing should seamlessly transition between ideas, ensuring the reader never feels lost or confused. Think of each section intro as a mini-hook, re-engaging the reader and preparing them for the information to come. These mini-intros don't need to be as elaborate as your opening paragraph, but they should provide context, summarize key points, and maintain the overall flow of your writing. But how do you craft effective section intros without being repetitive or redundant? What techniques can you employ to ensure a smooth and engaging reading experience from start to finish? Let's explore the art of crafting intros for every section and discover how to maintain your reader's interest throughout your entire piece. Section 9. Practice makes perfect honing your intro skills. Like any skill worth mastering, writing captivating introductions requires practice, patience, and a willingness to experiment. The more you write, the better you'll become at crafting openings that grab the reader's attention and set the stage for a memorable reading experience. Don't be afraid to try different approaches, experiment with various literary devices, and seek feedback from fellow writers or trusted readers. The key is to find what works best for you and develop your own unique style. Remember, writing is a journey, not a destination. Embrace the process, learn from your mistakes, and never stop striving to improve your craft. Section 10. The Power of a Strong Start, Recap and Final Thoughts Throughout this exploration of writing captivating introductions, we've delved into the importance of grabbing the reader's attention, setting the stage, and guiding them through your writing. We've explored various techniques from posing thought-provoking questions to crafting compelling hooks and tailoring your approach to different genres and audiences. Remember, a strong introduction is an investment in the success of your writing. It's an opportunity to make a lasting impression, establish your voice, and invite the reader to embark on a journey of discovery alongside you. As you continue your writing journey, keep these key takeaways in mind. First impressions matter, your introduction is your chance to captivate the reader and make them want to read more. Set the stage, provide context, establish expectations, and guide the reader into the heart of your subject matter. Engage your audience. Pose thought-provoking questions, challenge assumptions, or invite the reader to reflect on their own experiences. Transition smoothly, seamlessly connect your introduction to the rest of your writing, ensuring a logical flow of ideas. Tailor your approach. Consider your audience, genre, and writing style when crafting your introduction. Practice makes perfect. Experiment with different techniques, seek feedback, and never stop honing your craft. Section 11, Call to Action, Unleash Your Inner Writer. Now that you're equipped with the knowledge and tools to craft captivating introductions, it's time to put your skills into practice. Open your notebook, fire up your laptop, 
and start writing. Don't be afraid to experiment, make mistakes, and learn from your experiences. The more you write, the more confident and skilled you'll become. Remember, the power of language is in your hands.